I mean, Campbell's game was physical, and this was just as physical. We told Coach, uh, Coach told us it was going to be just as physical as last week, and so we came out with the mindset they're going to try to pound the ball. They usually a throwing team, but teams like to pound the ball on us, and so that's what they try to do. So we had to bring our hard hats and come to work, and uh, it's a uh, tough physical game. I think we got a little bumps and bruises. I think everybody did. I'm pretty sure Davion has some too, but we'll get through it and be ready for more hit. Davion, you got some big hits on the quarterback tonight, some big plays, a lot of third down stuff. Talk about what it was like on the defensive side of the ball. You got third down, you got a chance to get off the field, and what the mindset was going in some of those plays. Um, we just wanted to get out after them up front. Uh, we start set that from the beginning of the week. We knew they gave up a lot of sacks uh, this year. And we just really wanted to get out there with those guys up front and make plays. And I have been saying all week, I'm going to try to get three sacks, try to get three sacks. And then I kind of spoke into fruition. So I'm just, I'm just happy we played a great all around game up, up front and on the whole team. So I'm happy. Uh, how much difference does it make for the defense to have Daniel you know, get pressure <laughs> and not have to blitz to do it? See, that's the best thing. We can play back in our zone coverage. White only sitting three people. And we know Davion and, uh, and Matt Mines, and Corey Stodd, and get after them and all, and Devon. And, um, Anthony Ryle, we know we, our defensive line can get after the quarterback, even if we don't bring pressure. So, I mean, that was, that's a plus side. So, basically, they're getting cover stats. <laughs> As the game went along, did you see those offensive linemen start to wear down? Did you see that quarterback, his eyes get a little bigger? Is y'all were, were hammering on him when the game went along? Uh, yeah, you definitely can see he starts scrambling around a lot more and trying to get out the pocket. And, and he didn't seem too comfortable back there. So, um, that was good for us. We got to make him comfortable, make him move a lot, and make him look at different things. So, that was great. Three in a row. I know this is a you need to get a win at home. Talk about the emotions in that locker room and what you're feeling now getting that home win finally and win three in a row. Well, we're five and five now. I mean, nobody thought we'd be in a situation 500 in our second year of existence. So, I mean, that's a great thing. We got three back to back, back to back to back. <laughs> but uh, I mean. It's, uh, it's just so enjoyable. We told, I told everybody at the bonfire earlier this week, like we're getting a win at home this year. Like y'all have come out and supported us through thick and thin, and uh, we told them we're gonna get a, a win, and it was homecoming, and we came out there and gave the home crowd a good, a good show. Yeah, it was definitely a great feeling. I mean, that energy, and just knowing after we got that first down, just knowing that the victory was sealed, and just it was just so exciting. And finally, get that win at home where we can celebrate with our fans, the people that come out and support us, and that's been doing a great job. And, coming and cheering for us, and we were just happy that we did it for them and ourselves as well. What's it mean to you guys to see those fans still in the stands late in the game like that? I mean, you haven't had that opportunity this year. I mean, it wasn't like that for Mercer or Florida Tech and any of those games. And so to see them out there to the very end of the game, working, cheering, cheering their butts off, um, it just felt like a great feeling. And we could just feel the enthusiasm, like coming down in the fourth quarter, we could just feel the fans, feel the atmosphere. We was all hyped up, and so, and they were, and they there celebrated us to them. They definitely play a big role in our energy all the time, and I, I feed off the crowd a lot. Uh, so when they're coming, they're cheering them. It makes me want to play better and do well for them. So I think that's great. I think they keep it up. So for both of you, uh, when Coach first sat down, he was asked how he felt about getting this victory, and he immediately uh, teared up um, and talked about how proud he was of the group. How does that make you guys feel? I mean, Coach told us in the locker room that people told him that. No team in their second year of existence is going to win more than three games. And so he just been working with us so hard. And so basically he helped prove them wrong. He, he said he led the team that <laughs> they got more than three wins in their second season. So he's just been, been proud of us, and, we, and we're working our butts off for him every day. Yeah, I think he was, he was happy that uh, we came along well. Um, earlier when we was losing by eight, and now we're winning by eight, and we're closing out games. So I think we're maturing and we're learning from our mistakes and things that were going wrong earlier in the season and last year. And we're just really becoming a better team and just making more for Now, Davion, you really seem to turn it on about maybe week three, really, getting after the quarterback. Was this uh, kind of preseason work you've been putting in, watching a little more film? Where is this uh, quarterback rush coming from? <laughs> I think it comes from the work over the summer. Uh, I definitely worked hard and got out there over the summer and just had my mindset on where I wanted to be when I came back, and, and right now it's all coming up, paying off, so I'm just happy about that. And Donald, you, uh, I've been told you've got to have somewhere around 20 some odd sacks again this week. Uh, what's, what's your mindset? You just keep chasing and chasing and fighting. What's your, what's your mindset? I mean, my mindset, like I, like I always say, I, I feel like I'm a playmaker. I mean, um, like Coach always said, when you're on the field, your job is to make plays. And so I just hustle and hustle and hustle and hustle some more. Really just running after the ball and just make sure I'm there for my teammates. My teammates make a mistake. They're there. I'm there for them. And if I make a mistake, which I did in this game, 
my team over there backed me up. And so, I mean, we're, I'm trying to get after them every week, and I still got two more games left. I'm trying to do the same, same thing and come away with a win.